real quick, what are your thoughts on Kenny and Drake? Because I know they didn't add anyone other than Eno at the very end, who some people are really high on, but come on, seventh round pick, just chill out. And my issue, though, Drake, really good. We've seen him be really good. He got the transition tag. To me, that's not – I'm not treating that like a long-term – like I'm not as excited about Drake's workhorse role because of the transition tag as I am about, you know, Eckler getting a legit four-year extension. And also, Drake, when he was doing all these great things, you had David Johnson to show himself and Chase Edmonds well, could barely even suit up. So I'm a little worried Chase Edmonds could make this into more of a two-back committee sooner rather than later. Am I wrong? I, I kind of think you're wrong just because okay. – of, and I don't know. I mean, it might be that one-year rental idea of the, the single contract almost being better right. for him because they just ride him into the ground. It was just one of those things that the reason I think it might be wrong, I wish I had the exact snap totals, but I feel like Kingsbury just showed a tendency to ride one guy for the most part, whether it was David Johnson in those first five weeks, as we said, when he was lighting it up, was the running back four in fantasy, you know, 12th in touches per game. He, he, you know, I bet you his snap rate was right around 70 to 80 percent, and I yep. know Drake never dipped below 63 percent of snaps and was in over 83 percent in five of eight. So it just to me seems like an offense that's kind of built around a single horse, and it makes sense with the air raid. You're, you're trying to keep your foot on the pedal. You don't really want to substitute. You want a guy that can kind of do it all. And I love Drake. I think he can do it all. I think he's a great talent. And you saw the the fit was great last season. He was on pace for 14 TDs. And this offense is about to get so much better because you add a guy like Hopkins. You get Kyler Murray in year two. I feel like we haven't even seen. I mean, they they did jump up from, you know, 8.5 points per game last year in 2019. I could see them now jumping yet again and getting into that you know, 28 to 30 point range that we saw of the Chiefs, that we saw of the Lamar Jackson. A lot of people are saying this is the next guy that takes that huge leap. I th- if that happens, then Drake definitely comes with you know 15 plus touchdown upside. Uh, to me, it's just like a 70% touch, 70% snap guy in an offense I see taking a huge leap. So I'm all about it. I actually tweeted out yesterday that I would take Kenyon Drake ninth overall after um, before every wide receiver not named Michael Thomas. And I, I stand by it, at least for redraft. Dynasty, obviously different. I don't know. What do you think of that? I, I was my RB9. I do think after the big five, he probably has the best chance, no injuries happening, of having a legit three-down roll after those guys. I think, I think he can do good things with it. So I, I, I would just say among you know these top 10 or 12 backs, like the – if I drafted Drake, I would really try to make sure I get Edmonds coming back because it's, yeah. you know, it's a little funky. I, I can see how it works out. And if week one comes around and Drake's, you know, got that three down rolling ball and let's go. I'm in. He's good yeah. enough to do it. But just a little cautious about Edmonds. This upside is high enough to, yeah, go ahead and do it. I, I, I like the call on it. Just put your and, down. and Edmonds, I love that point too because Edmonds is so cheap. Even if you miss out on Drake, I mean, if this did become a committee or if Drake gets hurt, I mean, he's never, yeah. even in college, wasn't really a workhorse. So, everyone's completely overlooking Edmonds and what he did. I mean, he had like a 40-point day when he became the guy. So, sure. I mean, there is upside here with with Edmonds too for I, – I don't even think he gets drafted in most leagues. So, yeah, I, I think he's a great name to highlight there as well. 